insert so in excel how you insert the sheets like that you can also insert the uh, pages here let's say i have one page here you can click the plus button or else you can click on this uh, new blank page or duplicate page it will uh, blank page will add a blank page let's say i am going to use let's say my page name is abc if at all you duplicate the page so abc sheet will be duplicated like that you can create duplicate pages uh, here no new visual and more visual same as we discussed in the home table and the key influence uh, key influencers also is a one kind of uh, visual uh, decomposition trees and smart narrative these are type of a visuals suppose for the last year uh, our sales have been increased in the month of uh, june july august at the same time uh, in the month of uh, october november and december sales uh, uh, numbers have been come down that means sales are not good but june july august the sales were good you can use this option what are the reasons uh, to uh, increase the sales and what are the reasons to decrease the sales uh, we, we can analyze like that using the key influencers and you can use the paginated reports so paginated report if you enable this option you will be able to uh, create a paginated reports in the power bi service I will explain you later in the service how to create the paginated reports and the power apps and power automate these are also two powerful features in the power bi to utilize using the power apps and power automate using the power apps you can create the apps using the power automate you can automate the flow so this and all uh, going forward i will explain you these are like a text box and buttons suppose if you need any uh, suppose you are in the duplicate of abc sheet if you want to go to uh, the previous page you can add a button like this you can add a button or uh, in any of the corner and you can assign the action uh, which can uh, go to uh, whatever the action you wanted to uh, perform when you click this button so let's say i'm go i want to go to the previous page uh, you select that button you select that button this pop-up will come under action just i'm giving an example what it does uh, let's say here the action is page navigation and uh, page navigation to which page the destination is which page here select let's say i want to go to abc sheet so uh, hold the control key and click it it will go to the abc again here you can have one more back button or to go to the previous page or you can have a home button here that takes to the home page that means page one like that you can add the buttons uh, uh, not only back button you can use the reset button right arrow left arrow information help uh, q and a there are several uh, buttons we will see later in our dashboards how to use them one by one and then shapes suppose if you need any circle shape oval shape uh, rectangle square you can take you can if you want to uh, use these arrows you can also use them and on top of it if you have a, if you have any images that you wanted to bring here so let's say uh, i want uh, my company logo here you can go to your folder where you have that uh, logo and you can get that logo here so let's say chetna pixel i want to bring my logo here i can bring here i can use this i can use this in my reports by pasting like this you can use the image options 
so i can keep this logo on every of my pages or reports please subscribe to my channel chetana pixel if you are not done yet request your comments on this video thank you so much see you in the next video